cold start to the work week. Those temperatures got down to the 20s here this morning. We didn't have much wind, so we didn't have the feels like numbers really until we got to about eight o'clock and then the wind picked up a little bit in 40. No, 48 was feeling like 46 in St. Augustine. Seeing a little ground return in the clutter. If you were joining us earlier when I first recorded this, we had a microphone issue. You would have seen all the vibrant colors for the freeze and the frost for today. Speaking of colors, one of my favorites, this one here. We shed that morning haze and it is yellow bars, which means lots of sunshine here for this afternoon. Transition day on Wednesday here for Southeast Georgia for all of us really as it will be the warmest day of the week, but a chance for some showers across Southeast Georgia continues to build overnight and into our Thursday and that's the frontal boundary coming through. Unfortunately, the boundary really likes the Southeast. It hits the brakes and keeps our pattern unsettled, although warmer temperatures will still continue even behind what will be a much weaker cold front than we saw the last go around. Seasonal and sunny here for today, warmer for Tuesday and the warmest yet flirting with the 80s as we hit the hump of the work week. Tuesday, Wednesday, southwest flow, and then you start to see the winds as they're veering here. This is the sign that the cold front's coming through, and after it passes by, that low pressure area redirects the wind from the north northeast, and that'll be the focal point for those showers along our coastal zones and that washed out boundary. Your weather authority forecast, it's always a click away at News for Jacks, a shout away on your favorite devices.